Gather round. It's time for your real estate chalk talk with the Hitner Group at Coldwell Banker Burning. Listen closely as your coaches discuss the culture, the economy, and the political scene, and how it affects your home and your real estate investments. Real Estate Chalk Talk is where you learn the science of buying and selling real estate and the art of living in your home. Your education begins in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hey, welcome to the program. I'm Keith Hittner Sr. here together with Calvin Kamick, the money man. Keith Hittner Jr. is gone today. He's got a sick child at home, so he's staying home and being a good dad. And we're broadcasting from the Rack Shack Barbecue Studio, realestatechalktalk.com. That's the show website with tools and vendor contact information. Help you fix up your home and get it ready for sale. 612-627-8000. That's the number to call. 612-627-8000. Remember, old number 17 spice mix from the Rack Shack Barbecue. It is so versatile. What'd you put it on this week? This week, I put uh, old number 17 on the sweet potatoes. Sweet potato. Yeah. On the fries or just a sweet potato? Just right a out of sweet the oven. potato right out of the oven. A little bit of butter. Old number 17. Mix it up. Mm, 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 mm. Better than brown sugar on it? Well, old number 17 has some brown sugar in it. Does it? it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. So, so good. It was really good. Anyhow, it's a great meat rub and a great topical. And you can get old number 17 at the Rack Shack Barbecue. Just go in and say, I want some of that rub. Can you get it online at all? Or? You can get it on line you go to rack shack barbecue store rack shack bbq store.com and you can order the rub and any of the sauces awesome. online sent some sauce out this week so nice yeah okay so on the program this week we've got uh, uh gina enderling is going to be on the mm -hmm. program uh, one of the agents of our team uh, jason stevens is going to be in from uh, fan man lighting looking forward to having a conversation with Jason about uh, the fan man and about fans in the home and uh, what makes a good fan and what makes a not so good fan and what the differences are and then some lighting opportunities mm -hmm. that they also have over at fan man. You can lighting. figure out if you should blow air up or down finally. We'll find out. Stay tuned. We're going to ask the question air should be blowing up or air should be blowing down. It's a it's an age-old question. It is. What do you got? Kelly? You know what? I, well just on Gina I'm excited to have that conversation you know two things that I always think about with uh, with Gina is um, endurance mm -hmm. because she just hangs in there and hangs in there and hangs in there with people and show you know when you listen to how many people she'll go out with and show right. I mean you know some people go out they'll show four or five homes they pick one she's multiple multiple right. homes and she hangs with people and and just does a great job of staying with her clients long term and then just the work ethic i mean right. as as uh as you know i mean if if you have a, a deal that you need to get to somebody and they're going to dig in and grab on and and go get it to gina yeah. you know so looking forward to that conversation we're going to talk a little bit about vikings news because the preseason did start uh thursday evening we'll talk about that some insider information on what's going on in washington right now um based on a conversation i had with a good friend of mine who is uh in the know, in the know, and and uh, working out in uh, in New York, uh, uh, chief financial strategist for BMO Harris Bank. Um, we'll talk about some headlines in the news. Um, I want to talk a little bit about uh, discount brokers. There's okay. an article that came out this last week on uh, a discount broker. How you know they're just. So I'm curious about talking about the future and um, and some discount brokerage stuff. So that'd be interesting. And then we'll talk a little bit about the economy. We had the jobs report come out and then uh, some real estate news. It's kind of funny. Uh, there's an article this past week on uh, uh, people. Get that. Rex 